Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This channel is Moina Bass Fishes. I am Jim Moina, professional bass fisherman, or at least I thought I was. And the fish that certainly don't think I am. I'm not getting any respect out of the fish this year. So this video is gonna be about the 2024 MLF Toyota Series Tournament on Lake Fall in Oklahoma. This would be the day one of competition report. This tournament has 100 anglers, 100 anglers, 100 pros. I'm in 83rd place. I weighed two fish today for four pounds, three ounces. And uh, I'm kind of in disbelief. I thought I could do better than that. Uh, it just, I guess it was a case where I had, I hooked up six times and four of the fish got away. They were bass. I saw them. First one that got away before I had any fish in the boat, the first bite I had at probably about an hour and a half into the day, or maybe even a little more, I finally hook a fish <clears throat> and, uh, and I'm fighting them, fighting them, and it's, it feels like a good one, but the water's so dirty you can't really see anything. Um, and I know he's, the fish is getting closer to the boat, and all of a sudden it jumps, literally. It dang near jumped and hit the boat. That's how close it was. The fish came off midair on that jump, so I lost that one. And then throughout the rest of the day, I, you know, I caught two, lost three others. It's 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 uh, it's the way my year's going. I don't get it. It's just uh, so I'm really frustrated, really really badly frustrated. I mean, 83rd place. That's. I mean, I'm. This is like the third time, <clears throat> third time this year where I'm lingering down in this part of the standings. And, uh, I mean, I'm coming off of, uh, gosh, where, I don't even know where I was last. <laughs> couple, oh, yeah, I was uh, at Smith Lake. No. Le uh, Logan Martin Lake, that's where I was. And uh, that was just a disaster of a tournament. Now, I mean, Smith Lake was too earlier this year. And now this, and Toledo Bend earlier this year was a bit poor. It's just, uh, this, uh, guys and <clears throat> gals, I'm having one of my worst seasons ever. And, and it's, in a lot of cases, it's not because I'm not, I mean, I'm losing so many freaking quality fish this year. It's sickening. I mean, this one, I mean, you're going to lose some fish, but at the rate I'm going, I'm losing all my best fish. There's only been two tournaments out of the eight that have fished so far this year where the good ones didn't get away. All of my good ones are getting away every tournament. And it's just, it's really, really makes it tough to, uh, I mean, yeah, the way that you combat that is, well, hey, just go get more bites. Well, you know, that's what you try to do, obviously. And you don't, I mean, there's a limit to how many bites you can get in a day. So, anyhow, um, yeah, the frustrations, uh, were, I mean, let's put, it this, let's put it this way. This will give you an example of how frustrated I am, I mean, I got to the weigh-in, and, uh, you know, I'm kind of pissed, frustrated, grumpy about only having two fish. So, I bring my fish up to the tanks. Uh, there's, like, staging tanks, a series of staging tanks where you put your bag of water in there, and uh, or you, you put your bag with the fish inside the bag, you set them in this water tank, and uh, and you just wait your turn, you know, to weigh in. So when one guy brings his fish up to the stage, then everybody advances one position closer to the stage. 
until finally you're the next one up. So anyways, we go up to these tanks and uh, every time they always, every time I've ever done Toyota series or MLF or whatever, um, there's two lines along the tanks and you get in either this line or that line, doesn't matter which, and then you just progressively get towards the stage. Let's say the stage is, you know, you guys. So you get, so you just alternate. This guy goes and this guy goes. This guy goes, this guy goes. Well, this, well, today there was a little confusion as to the process. And uh, when I got up to the tanks, they're trying to tell me there aren't two lines. There's one line. And we got to start here and then work our way back around and forward and then up to the stage that way, which is fine. Um, that's what, I mean, that's what a couple guys said. That's what was going on. So I'm okay. That's, that's cool. That's fine. So I'm getting close to my, my, I'm only a few spots away from bringing my fish up and then a whole series of guys. Then this side of the tank is right now because I'm ladder, ladder part of first flight. Um, the, the next flight guys haven't really filled up the tanks yet. So this whole side is like getting empty. And all of a sudden, a bunch of guys start showing up, and uh, they're getting right up front, you know, right across from where I am now, and they're thinking they're going to bring their fish up before I, you know, basically cutting the line. <laughs> and, but they didn't know. But, I mean, they didn't know because normally it's done, it's done like that. I mean, what they did is falls in line with how it's normally done. But <laughs> I feel I feel really stupid, and the guy and the guy that I kind of start barking at, um, he handled it extremely well, because I it's, honestly God I swear I was sitting in a powder keg a powder keg at that moment just because of the way the way the whole year's gone, I mean just things are I mean my truck is acting up again, uh, I swear the camper is going to fall apart any second. Just stuff, I mean, tires are getting punctured and the tires that are getting ordered aren't the right ones. Um, but there's nothing you can do about it because you got to drive 500 miles to the next tournament. So you take you take the, t the tire that's the wrong tire. I mean, just, just a whole s network of just s stupid things. And, um, yeah, it just... Uh, Life has got me in a vice in a, in a way. <clears throat> but when I say that, uh, that's just not true. Because you have to, it might feel that way, but <clears throat> you have to take it in perspective. And I remind myself of this all the time. Um, life has got you in a vice when you're battling cancer and then you have a heart attack. Life has got you in a vice when you're driving your kids to school and a drunk driver runs into you and people are injured. So keep this in perspective. My truck, I can fix it, I can get a new one, whatever. My health is good. So for me to say, life has got me in advice is kind of stupid because these are just trivial matters and I have a bright future no holding me back so so anyways back to the story um, about the, the, <laughs> the weigh-in stage so I start barking at this guy <laughs> I'm like I'm telling him you you know I tell him hey you you're cutting the line. I mean, and then he then he starts to explain that uh, he starts giving some explanation, and I, I I want nothing to hear of it, and uh, I just start jumping on him. <laughs> I'm not yeah I'm not yelling, but uh, I'm just being uh, snarky and uh, just kind of being an ass. So, um, but. <sighs> about a minute went by or two a minute or two and then I realized well, what a what a dumbass I'm being 
<laughs> I mean, you know, it was just confusion because the, the way the lines normally go, it wasn't how it was going. And he was thought it was went the normal way. And um, it was, I mean, he didn't know. And nobody would know. I didn't know. But so anyhow, uh, <laughs> he waited his turn. Um, and he, and he was super nice about it. He was, and he was nice about, I mean, he didn't, he didn't like get combative. I mean, I was kind of combative. I was snarky. I was being a dick. And, uh, he was the better man. And, uh, his name was, uh, Nick, Nick Akers. I think his last, his first name was Nick for sure. His last name was Akers, I believe. So, uh, Nick, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for not making it, you know, it, it could have, it could have escalated and he de-escalated it and, uh, hats off to me. And, and for those of you who don't know me, that, that's, this was so out of character for who I am. I mean, I, I just, that's so out of character. I mean, I almost, almost never, ever, ever, uh, I mean, get that way. I mean, that's like once every 15 years or if that. I mean, well, probably more more often than that. I mean, but but at this, I mean, to do it like I've, I've never at the, at the weigh-in, I mean, around my fellow anglers at the weigh-in, uh, I've never gotten into arguments with anybody ever. So... Um, gotten arguments with other fishermen on the lake when we're trying to fish the same spot and I have gotten gotten in that argument a couple times <laughs> but but uh, I don't know it was quite the uh, and, and 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 I even said to him I mean after like I said after about a minute you know I hadn't gone up to, I haven't brought my fish up there yet and I'm like God you know I really feel I told him I said I really feel stupid <laughs> I just need to chill out. <laughs> and uh, um, so, yeah, glad he didn't escalate it. So that was good. So, yeah, 83rd place out of 100. Um, so what's the plan for tomorrow? I got a couple thoughts. One thought is, um, you know, next year or next month, I got to come right back to this lake for the Bassmaster Open. So, do I want to just take tomorrow and just go explore? Because really, I needed like a top ten finish here to qualify for the Toy Series Championship, and that's that's an impossibility now with just four pounds being weighed by me. I mean, even if I brought in a, the biggest bag of the tournament, like a twenty-pound bag tomorrow. Um, that might get me a check. Probably, I mean, yeah, that'd probably get me a check, but still. Um, well, actually, if I brought in 20 pounds tomorrow, that could get me to 25th place, which is what fishes on day three, the top 25. And then if I had another big day, then I could possibly move up I mean I, seriously I'd, I'd have to have like back to back 20 pound days so so on one hand I could go do kind of what I've been doing in the area of the lake that I've been fishing mostly through practice but not up but not everyday practice I've been around the lake um, but the other thing is maybe I could just 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 ditch everything and uh, just go fish all in the new water and just see what, in, in a way that'd be like learning maybe something for, you know, for a month from now when I come back. So that's going through my mind. But then I have a co-angler with, so I mean, I want to put him on some fish. I mean, hate to see, I mean, I'd hate to, Although he didn't catch much today either, so he's in kind of the same boat I am. He he caught one, I think. And by the way, my coiler today caught one. I caught two. My coiler caught one. 
that I call earlier for tomorrow. He caught one today with the partner he was with today. So, boy, those fish, I know those fish were biting today. And it just, oh, frustration. So much frustration right now. But I got to chill out. Definitely got to chill. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to just sleep on it. And I didn't put any gas in the boat. Probably not going to. So that might limit certain things. <laughs> but anyhow, I guess that's enough of this video. We got to go catch them. We don't have to go catch them tomorrow because I'm on it. I mean, I'm going to, obviously I'm going to fish hard all day tomorrow. But uh, even if I catch like 15 pounds, I'm still not going to make the top 25. But, I mean, you're fishing for pride, I guess. So that's the thing you're fishing for. You're thinking you're fishing for the education. You're fishing for the learning. You're fishing for the experience and competing. This is a competition, so damn it, I got to get out there and compete. I can't just lay over. I got to compete. Got to, I mean, got to go out there, catch what I can, make the others catch more than me. That's what it comes down to. So, all right, well, that's enough for this one. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm really not a dick. I'm a, I like to think I'm a nice guy. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Over.